Hello, December the 14th, Sunday. Beautiful weather, almost 70 degrees. Uh, I can't see from here. But it's nice. Anyway, I saw Samuel Jackson, his challenge celebrities to sing uh, against police for brutality. <laughs> um, well, I wish I could. No, I mean, like, remember the words. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, uh, I, I I saw that they were marching. I think that's fabulous. That You know, we, we have to maybe change our, our laws. We might have to get some people out there to lobby. We might have to get some people out there that will run, you know, some new people, some fresh people right out of college with fresh ideas, maybe some people from Berkeley, uh, Columbia, uh, 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 you know, so, some of these young, fresh uh, kids, um, you know what I'm saying, because we all have issues with the way the taxes are, the way the, way the student loans are, the way, uh, uh, like around here, um, like the lady across the street that her house is on a hot springs, you know, she went, and there was another lady, they called her dear, her house was tore down. But anyway, they went and got a loan. But anyway, they ended up in a nursing home. They were sick anyway. And, um, you know, and, um, but, um, the bank ended up with the house, so. But anyway, we'll see. I haven't seen a car parked there. That's what I thought. They thought they parked there one night. <laughs> anyway, so, but I think it's great, you know, because if, we allow the police to walk down the streets uh, with, in, you know, uh, with their tear gas and, and their tanks and shooting off their rubber balloons and, you know, and maybe even firing uh, in full gear, you know, um, just busting in anybody's house, you know, uh, you know, carrying a flimsy little paper. You know, we have to get our constitutional rights back, and uh, we're entitled to a fast and speedy uh, 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 court hearing by our peers. We don't have to have everybody get shot or killed in a choke hole, or uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the cops are they're playing this game like, oh well, you know. We we running this and we doing this and then we're the brotherhood. Well, you're the brotherhood of chaos. The brotherhood of murdering children. That's some coward ass pussy shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Cause you cannot do a treason act. You know what I'm saying? You cannot violate the constitutional rights of us citizens by murdering us and then at a grand jury, it, uh, not being tried for murder. And you want us to, you know, you want us to, like, make this guy a hero. He gets an interview. You know what I'm saying? He's not a hero. You know what I'm saying? He actually killed somebody. And it's wrong to do what he did. And it's wrong for what type of policing that, you know, where you choke a man. Even if he was selling loose cigarettes. And somebody come and ask me for some cigarettes, I want to charge him anyway. Because cigarettes, when I first started smoking them, they were 35 cents, right? You know what I'm saying? They went up more than 475% right now. So, anyway, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, you know what I'm saying? This is a capitalist society. Ain't nothing free. But, you know, we have to, maybe the young folks need to, um, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with sports. There's nothing wrong with, you know, like, if you want to take your whole paycheck and go to a titty bar and spend all your money, you know, maybe see a relative up there. Anyway. Yeah, there is something wrong if you, you know what I'm saying. If you can't get you one person, you know what I'm saying, it'd be more regular. I would think. Anyway, that's just me. But if you invest your money, like in more so, in maybe something that might, you know, be, uh, 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 be there for you, like later, you know what I'm saying, opposed to, you know, and you know, anyway. The, the thing is, is that we do need, it's not really, we need to have people come out here with some petitions. We need to have some people that come out here with some ideas that are fresh and new. That might, and even if we go back to something that's from the uh, 1910 or something, you know what I'm saying, that worked then, you know what I mean. 
but it, it, we need the people to go out there and push it. I, 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 I say the simple fact is if they follow the rules and regulations in the Constitution and if, if they go by the letter of the law and that if we stop having the 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 drug uh, uh, war the dr the war on drugs which has turned out to be the drugs on citizens and we stop having these private prisons that turn out to uh, uh, be making money off of the court uh, uh, the prosecutors the uh, 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 um, you know what I'm saying, uh, the the person that bonds you out, you know what I'm saying, we don't need to make money off of suffering and destructions of our community. Do we want our cities to turn into Detroit? Do we want that type of thinking that where the, the victims get blamed? You know what I'm saying? And, cause, and like here you could see where they they really jeopardize the women. I don't see anybody coming out of uh, for elementary school. Nobody coming out of Mitchell High doing anything or going anywhere. You know, either working for a police or being criminals. And we gotta have more than that for our children. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I don't know what the road is to take because I know the people that are in charge it's very important that they keep making money I think you can make money without having people suffer and um, I think you can make money without war you know I think you could even make money without petroleum as a base and like plastic and etc I think we could go another way and you could still make money I think you could even make money just like they make money off of wireless phones and internet and etc I think you could make money off of uh, uh, reusable energy something like Tulsa TLS you know, was, uh, was talking about anyway the, the the idea is we do need people to lobby you know what I'm saying and we do need people that are um, um, with money behind these people will lobby because the one percent the people that are lobbying them they got a super PAC they got they, we don't even know how much or who's uh, 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 putting the money in the people like in the Tea Party and people like right now in the Republicans and the Republicans is going seem like they're more favoring to put more money in the Chinese pockets you know with, with our exports and our imports you know we're in, you know what I'm saying keeping Walmarts and Targets and Kmarts and and Kroger's and all these stores going you know what I'm saying maybe we need to think about where we're shopping you know Dollar Tree's fine and dandy but at what expense you know what I'm saying if they're not educating and our schools are failing us enough to where we have a system like what happened in Ferguson, Missouri, that where we have people, we have white uh, police thinking they Ku Klux Klan, the Brotherhood of the Ku Klux Klan, that they're going to run around and be the ruling, you know, white waste is going to rule. Well, we have a right waste that rules already in Britain, in a lot of European countries, Germany, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's white people, Sweden and etc. You know what I'm saying? They live in like, well, this is what we're gonna be. You know what I'm saying? That's how those police are. They got the mentality of a motherfucker gorilla. But anyway, and that's why they're so violent. That's why they are murdering ass and fucking race. And since we no longer have the draft, we got to deal with some motherfuckers. I don't know. We got a job corps here. Maybe we could have the teenagers all, you know, have to go to job corps for two years or some motherfucker shit. Because they need to straighten some shit out. Because these motherfuckers don't know shit from Shinola. But anyway, <laughs> it's time to go in. Happy Sunday. Memphis, Tennessee. The weather can be perfect. Might be able to see the dogs. The weather it is 60, 68, maybe almost 69 degrees, and that's in the shade. But the sun's getting ready to go down. But anyway, have a great. Who knows? Tom tomorrow's going to be cold. <laughs> but we have we've been having nice weekends, so who knows? Beautiful, you know. All right, bye.